at it again and uh the other day i dropped a youtube short um that had judge joe brown on there talking about the orange man <laughs> and quite a few of you were like hey where, where's the actual video where's the full video so i pulled up the actual full video from that youtube short if you didn't see that youtube short definitely go and check it out um so yeah we're going to be checking out judge joe brown which I'm sure you guys know who Judge Joe Brown is. I mean, he's a pretty famous guy, actually. Um, talking about a crazy, interesting story about Donald Trump. Or the truth, I should say, about Trump. But before we get into that, make sure you guys do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well. All right? And uh, please... Hit that arrow button down below, copy the link, and um, share this video with your friends and family. All right? And let's dive in. What, what is your take on Trump? Is Trump a racist? I don't think so. I have talked to a number of black entrepreneurs who back in the late 80s and 90s, were, early 90s, were trying to get financing. They couldn't. Somebody told them to go check with Donald Trump. So they come back and tell me they got a loan from Donald Trump. He gave them a term loan, show up with the interest in the principal, one check. But they had to go see him personally. They independently relate this tale that when they saw him, he said, this is what you're supposed to pay me? This our agreement? I said, yeah. And then tore the check up, shook their hands, and congratulations. Now run your business. And this was when? This was back in the 90s. This our agreement? So yeah. And then tore the check up, shook the hands, and congratulations. Now run your business. So they brought the check back to him to pay him. Go run your business. Didn't even want the money back. Got their loan. Was ready to repay him. Brought the check back to him. Like, hey, here, here's the interest in, 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 in what you loaned me. This is what you owe? I'm not even about to cash this check. You keep the money and continue to go run your business. But you won't hear about stories like that on the mainstream media. Tell him one more time, Judge. This tale that when they saw him, he said, this is what you're supposed to pay me? This our agreement? Said, yeah. And then tore the check up, shook their hands, and congratulations. Now run your business. And this was when? This was back in the 90s. It, See, most people don't even know this. He had a sister. He was, every time you saw him back in the 90s, fine paper bag, brown, beautiful black model. He likes fine women. <laughs> he didn't have any problem with dating a black woman, walking her down red carpets. <laughs> hey! That orange man was a Mac back in the day. He said, I'm a rolling stone, baby. <laughs> but of course, once again, you won't hear about those stories on mainstream media. You won't hear about the fact that he actually dated a black woman or was with a black woman, at least. Oh, you hear, oh, Trump doesn't like black people. He don't, he don't, like, he don't like black people. Huh? I've even talked to a couple black folks and, um, you know, obviously I won't reveal names or anything like that, but you, re you, you realize Trump don't like people like us, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> exhibit A, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, this, this stuff is crazy. He didn't have any problem with dating a black woman, walking her down red carpets. So, I mean, she says he's not a racist. He just doesn't like many people, black or white. And he appreciates people who do stuff within their lane. Uh, well, not stay in their lane, but where they choose to be, if they do it well, he admires them. Black, white, brown, red, yellow. Most Ain't no wrong with saying stay in your lane. I've heard plenty of black people say it, but of course, once again, white people don't have freedom of speech, so a white person can't say, stay in your lane. 
But we've all heard a black person say that. Stay in your lane, brother. Stay in your lane. People don't know this. He did was the finance man behind Jesse Jackson's two runs for president. Wow. So, you know, he talks, but I don't mind somebody talking. I think we've gotten too sensitive to that. That's part of the effeminization of the country. I remember in junior high and high school, hey, man, I won't say nothing, man, but last night when I saw your mama, man, you don't know I was over there because you were asleep, man, but blah, 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 blah. We ran the dozens. That was our sport. Mm -hmm. So we were used to talking about each other. Now, man. Ran the dozens? Is that like term? That was our sport. Man, but blah 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 blah. We ran the dozens. That was ran the dozens. Is that like old school term for we made jokes about each other? Because if that's the case, I did the same thing. <laughs> that was my expertise. I was amazing at making jokes. All right. Sometimes still, when me and some of my friends get together and we sit down. We have what, what I like to call a roasting session where we just make some of the craziest jokes up about each other. <laughs> and that's all we do for like 10, 15 minutes straight. Just just cracking jokes. That's what we do. Like We, we, we don't have, you know, um, thin skin. Like It's just funny. <laughs> it was our sport. Mm -hmm. So we were used to talking about each other. Now, yeah. man, he talked about my mama, man. What's wrong with you? <laughs> do, do you think uh, Trump will get reelected? I think he's going to get reelected. But one last question. Do you think black people are missing an opportunity with Trump? Yo, yeah. See, you've got somebody that is not a lifetime Republican. He's been a blue dog Democrat for most of his life. He usurped the Republican Party. So I think this thing I've been tweeting about, no benefit, no vote, ought to be the deal. We haven't gotten a damn thing out of the Democratic Party for a long time. And the last one, number 44 and the one before that, 43, Bush and Obama, well, there are pictures of Bush with his arm around uh, eight-year-old Barack Obama because his stepdaddy, adopted daddy, Lolo Sotoro, had done a lifetime worth of business with the Bushes. Uh, wow. Uncle George Herbert Walker, after whom George Herbert Walker Bush, Bush one president, was named, founded Halliburton in 1946 in Oklahoma. And Lolo Sotoro had been international executive vice president for Standard Oil. There, there was talk of him being a CIA asset. Uh, well, yeah, Indonesia. see, he ran mm -hmm. the death squads for the Indonesian Army. On mm -hmm. his own call, anyone could be assassinated. So when George... Herbert what Walker Bush fuck? became head of the CIA under the Ford administration. He just got with his old buddy in the oil business, Lolo Sotoro, and pulled off the hits. See, uh, Barack's grandmother has been acknowledged as being the woman that operated the channels through which CIA money went to the Southwest Pacific. So she introduced her daughter who had just had Barry, Barack, to Lolo Sotoro, and they got married, and Lolo Sotoro adopted Barack Obama. The name was changed to Barry Sotoro. Mm -hmm. Now, when he went to high school in Hawaii, I know about that high school. I almost sent my oldest son to it. I could afford it, but I didn't think he observed, deserved it. 20 years ago, the tuition was $95,000 a year, not including room and board. in a high school oh no nah. oh no nah. <laughs> y'all done up it done it 95k man man he, he he better or she better come out with a with a diploma better than one from harvard or something <laughs> you better come out with it with a uh degree to be an engineer and making, you know, $250,000 a year is something crazy. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of money. Ah, man, that is wild.
When Obama went there, I've talked to two of his classmates. They independently state that the tuition, not including room and board, was 45000 Now, Business Insider reports his income for 2017 at over $200 million net. That's after taxes, deductions, write-offs. Mm -hmm. For this last year, 2018, they reported it as $570 plus million dollars. And that's after all deductions, tax, right? Trump doesn't make that net. I mean, even some of the richest people in America don't make that. Why? Because when his stepdaddy died, he was one of the 10, 15 richest men on earth. And he left everything in a trust fund, operated out of Indonesia, oh. so the American government can't touch it, that makes Barack Obama one-third beneficiary for the assets of one of the 10, 15 richest men on earth. See, wow. so we got a game run on us. So, you know that little thing that Bush W. does when he gets with Michelle, they giggle and he gives a candy. The inside thing, is that supposed to be the same kind of candy he used to give to her husband when he was six, seven, eight years old? I don't, I don't even know what to think about all that. Was that true? Lolo's say say Toro. I I I need to do some research on this now. Whoa, netted over five hundred, over half a billion. Net, not gross. Net, like after all expenses and taxes, you net over half a billion dollars Woo! yeah that is wild wild I mean I listen I I knew Obama was making some good cash you know what I mean some good cash but but that's beyond good <laughs> That is filthy rich. Anyway, y'all let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, and of course, hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love, family. I'm out. Whew.